like to talk about iPhone. iPhone is the most loved smartphone in the world. And today we're welcoming a new member to the iPhone family. Our customers are loving the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. And while the vast majority of our customers prefer these larger display iPhones, we're here today to talk about a smaller iPhone. This last year we sold over 30 million four-inch iPhones. For some people, they simply love smaller phones. They want the most compact iPhone design. Second, we found that for a lot of these customers, it's their first iPhone. Whether they're switching from Android or it's their first smartphone, it's the first time they're experiencing iOS. We're calling it the iPhone SE. <laughs> So at the heart of the iPhone SE, of course, is our chips, our amazing Apple A9 chip with its embedded M9 motion coprocessor. This means that the iPhone SE has the same processing performance as the iPhone 6S, which is literally double the speed of the iPhone 5S. So we've given it our incredible 12 megapixel uh, eyesight camera with focus pixels and true tone flash. And we have, of course, that image signal processor from the A9 that enables all kinds of great features like the panorama pictures up to 63 megapixel, but also improvements to video, slow-mo, time-lapse, and of course, your photos, which means you can take incredible pictures like this and this. And we've launched Apple Pay in these countries, and we most recently rolled it out in China where the response was absolutely fantastic. We set our most affordable price we've ever introduced a new iPhone at. And we have a higher capacity 64 gigabyte model for just $499. The iPhone SE joins our incredible lineup of iPhones with the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S, and 6S Plus. It's the strongest iPhone lineup we've ever had. We can begin, we'll begin taking orders for the iPhone SE this Thursday, March 24th, and it'll be available next week, March the 31st. We'll be shipping first in, this, in these countries, but many more will quickly follow. We'll be in more than 100 countries by the end of May. So that's the iPhone SE.